We're at the Autonomous Truck Conference in Detroit. I'm talking right now with Jude Heron, who's with the Nevada Department of Motor Vehicles. We're, give me your title again. You're uh, DMV Services Manager. Okay. <laughs> Nevada, Jude, as you well know, has been out in front of so many other states and even other countries yeah. in having regulations regarding autonomous vehicles. Correct. Where does it stand right now? Um, at this point, right now, uh, Nevada continues uh, to work with different agents or different companies. Uh, we're working with two uh, corporations right now, OEMs, that are uh, uh, wanting to uh, acquire a license in Nevada. So, by can mid you name them? Um, probably not at this time, okay. but uh, stay tuned. So, sure. uh, but that would bring us up to uh, uh, seven companies in in Nevada testing or qualified to test on our highways. Um, we're also looking at uh, building a, a state autonomous commission, not only autonomous vehicles, but uh, aerial drone um, uh, regulations and considerations, as well as even marine uh, autonomous vehicles, looking at that and connected vehicle technology for our state. Um, we're also pursuing the fact that uh, our goal is to make sure that this program as a whole continues to be successful and it is our belief within three years, we there will be some OEMs that come out with a level three NHTSA uh, vehicle on our highways. Semi-autonomous. Semi-autonomous, a driver assisted type of uh, autonomous vehicle. And we believe that we need to bring together all the stakeholders, not just the OEMs, but the insurance companies, uh, infrastructure agencies, uh, law enforcement, other legal entities and so forth to come together and, and build some standards uh, and not everything needs to, a regulation behind it, but build an agreement and, and discuss some of the challenges and resolve some of those issues so that um, that agreement or document and, and any regulatory changes that come from that can actually be a model for the USDOT and maybe some international companies as well as because it's, it's an agreement between all stakeholders to ensure that when we implement this, it's successful. Uh, we cannot have this type of project, this program is so beneficial, but if we handle it in the same way that we've handled uh, technology upgrades to vehicles in the past, then standards, federal or international standards, would not come until 10 years or so after the technology is already out there. This is a game changer, and it has to be before it's actually introduced uh, to the community. As with everything, you build something, you build a widget, you build a product, you build a regulation. That's the foundational part of that. And as technology grows and changes and, and research is, uh, uh, comes in and compiled, we can actually massage that foundation. But we have to have that foundation in place in order to have some agreement straight across the board. So that's what Nevada is looking at to reach out to all of our stakeholders in the near future. So. I'm fascinated that you're taking such a comprehensive approach to autonomy, including yeah. aerial drone and marine. Correct. When you start getting into the truck aspect of it, do you have to approach it differently than those other categories or even autonomous passenger cars? That's a great, that's a great question. When we uh, partnered with Daimler Trucking, um, we knew that there was, uh, both Daimler and Nevada knew that there was going to be a lot of eyes on that. So we both uh, partnered because we both believe in safety. So Daimler has, uh, once we sat down with them and, and learned their technology, we understood what their limitations were. Uh, for example, um, when they are uh, engaged in the autonomous technology in their, in their vehicle, they can't do a lane change while they're in an autonomous mode. So we required them to stay in one lane at all times. It's only freeway, interstate type of uh, access so coming um, you know merging in to the interstate they can't do that under autonomous mode as well so we we partnered with them to try to understand what their limitations are and then set our test license around those so Daimler is basically one of the most restricted companies out there for good reason both Daimler and Nevada wanted that but we believed in Daimler's technology and we believe that testing in this environment is crucial. So it, it's a great partnership that we're going to continue. So. Well, it's very interesting. Yeah. The, the technology is only one aspect. Of course, regulations are another. But Correct. Thanks so much for bringing us up to speed. Thank you so much. What you're doing in the state of Nevada. Oh, thank you. <laughs>